Hey everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds, the channel where sometimes I wear pants. You can't tell. Why should I? Today I want to talk about a new uh, subscription box on the market, a Canadian box, actually located in Winnipeg, which is about 45 minutes from where I live, so my home area, which is kind of exciting. Um, the box is Fish Allure. Fish A. L-U-R-E. Uh, you can take that one of two ways. Fish a lure, as in fish a bait, or fish a lure, as in it's a fish attractant. I'm not sure how they intend it, but either way, it's a clever name. Because it leaves some ambiguity. Uh, I always like that. Um, they actually reached out to me last month for their first box. This is their second one. Uh, they reached out to me for their first box and just asked for my feedback. Um, I didn't put a video. They weren't looking for a vi video review or anything like that. They just strictly wanted feedback. How could they improve it? How did I think the value of the box held up compared to, you know, the other ones that I get? So I provided that feedback. They were very receptive. You know, emailing back and forth has been really good. Uh, I like the box enough that I subscribe to it. Not just that I like the box, but... I like to, you know, support local companies. I like to support Canadian companies, of course. Um, so here we are with my first actual subscription box uh, of this of this company, Fish Allure. The one that I opened up and gave feedback on was sort of a prototype beta box, uh, and this is an actual. They're in production now. They're they're sending out subscriptions. So this is what you will get if you subscribe to them, or if you subscribe to them last month. Uh, this is what you'll get for this month. There's no special anything in here. This is, I paid for this. Um, it's it's a normal box, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I don't know sure why it's taken me that long to uh, get to that point. Anyway, let's, <laughs> so that's the history of the box. Uh, so let's take a look at this. This is official lower box. They only have a multi-species box. As far as I know, they don't have multi-species or like uh, multiple options yet for different species. Um, starting out brand new. This is a, again, a prototype box. They're gonna apparently have branded box, you know, design, printed, whatever. Uh, you know, right now it's just a plain box with a sticker. Totally fine, uh, totally understandable. Um, yeah, let's let's open this up. Let's take a look. Like I said, I was impressed with the first box enough to get a subscription, so I'm looking forward to this one. I'm hoping to get some walleye stuff, or actually, I shouldn't even say that. I'm hoping to get anything that's good for the fall. Uh, so let's start off here. Catfish rig from Walleye Mafia. It's kind of funny. Walleye Mafia giving me a catfish rig. Uh, but either way, it's a catfish rig. It is a, it's a hook, it's a six-aught hook with a long lead of uh, monofilament and tied in a loop at the end. Honestly, kind of cheap. Most catfish rigs are going to come with the weight or the be at least the glass bead, because a typical catfish rig around here, you have your hook, and I've done a video on this before if you want to go back and look. Uh, you have a hook, you have your line, usually two, three feet uh, worth of line. And then you have that attached to a swivel. And on the other side of the swivel, you have a glass bead to protect the knot from the slip lead weight that is then attached onto the line. So it's a lead weight, slides up and down the line, and the glass bead protects it from the edges uh, catching and, and fraying up your knot. Uh, so at the very least, most catfish rigs that I have seen come with the hook, the line, and at least a swivel. This one does not even come with a swivel, so a little bit of disappointment there. Uh, I'm not sure what the value of anything is. I don't see uh, what's in the box card unless it's at the bottom. I will look at that later. Moving on. So another sort of filler item, another small item. Queen Tackle Royal Tungsten Series. So it's a 3 8 ounce. It's a shaky head. Um, style jig with a hook attached. I actually kind of like these and this is I'm assuming tungsten. It says tungsten series. So 
like I said, you got your wide gap hook, and then you got your tungsten jig head, football style jig head uh, on a swivel, lots of movement on there. So you can rig this up all kinds of ways. You can put all different kinds of plastics on here, all different kinds of presentations. Uh, and you can rig it up onto your line in a ver variety of ways, uh, Carolina rig, Texas rig, um, or just straight onto your main line, like, uh, however you want to rig it. So, good amount of weight for this little jig head. Actually, that's the nice thing about tungsten, of course, it's so dense. You can small package, you can get lots of weight. So, you don't have this overbearing football shape. Uh, most of your focus is going to be on the actual plastic or whatever that you choose to present on this hook. Nice, big, wide gap hook. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I like that. I'm not familiar with queen tackle or anything like that. I mean, it's a tungsten jig head, so nothing wrong with that. I'm not familiar with the brand, but it seems fine. Mustad Ultra Point. This is a hair jig. Big Eye Bucktail Jig. So Mustad Ultra Point Big Eye Bucktail Jig. It's a one quarter ounce. And the color is, doesn't have a name for the color, but it's, it's a really nice color. Let's open this up here, if I can get into this, uh, there we go, okay. So like I said, really nice color, it's a one quarter ounce, chartreuse on top, white on the bottom, nice bright silver eyes, which I like. It's got two different points that you can tie your line to. So depending how you want to present it, your line can come off this way or you can come straight up. Lots of buck hair on this. Nice long hair on this. So whatever trailer you put on or whatever bait you put on, you still got this nice big cover of this buck hair and these streamers, um, these reflective streamers. So chartreuse on top and white on the bottom. It's patterned the same as the jig head. But it's got these reflective streamers in here, which is a really nice touch. I love hair jigs particularly for walleye fishing, uh, which is in the fall. That's what I do pretty much nonstop. And then going into ice fishing, ice fishing, bucktail jigs work really well for ice fishing for some reason. They just, in the water, this hair spreads out and it gives you this really nice beefy profile. And it's just, it's really good at attracting finicky fish. So um, I'm a big fan. I've never gotten a mustad bucktail jig. Although, I don't think I've gotten a lot of bucktail jigs in any of my boxes, so uh, I'm really happy with that. I love bucktail jigs. This one looks really good quality, really nice colors on it, everything. I like the multiple tie options, good, you know, must add hooks, and just the really nice bucktail, uh, nice length on it, and the nice length on the streamers. Nothing wrong with that. I'm looking forward to using that. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. What is this? Okay, so I don't even know what to say about this. Tackle Industries Dominatrix Double Number 10 Bucktail for musky, northern pike, and bass. Uh, I mean, this is a huge lure. I don't know if I'd say for bass, but definitely this is musky or northern pike. This is quite possibly one of the most interesting lures that I have gotten. Let's see if I can get into this package here. Wow, all I can say is wow, this is, look at this thing, look at this. This is insane, this is crazy. I feel like I've gone to a birthday party or something and this is, this. all these colored streamers. There is hooks in here, I'm feeling them. Um, I'm gonna try and find them. Okay, uh, I mean, so this is the top of the lure. There's two big blades right off the bat. There's one that's a black nickel colored and one just a silver colored that has the logo Dominatrix, which is a, uh, a chick with a whip and high heels and leather. Kind of interesting. There's a wire all the way through this and I can feel that there is a hook in here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So there's a big, big treble hook sort of part way down um, just at the start of where all this streamer starts. And then way at the end, let's see if I can figure this out here. Yeah, way at the end. So there's a couple weights at the end. And then another big treble hook at the bottom end. This is a cool lure. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna fish this for around here. This is a probably one of the 
biggest, most flashiest lures that I've ever gotten. This thing is crazy. I can think of a few spots right now. I'm just, I'm trying to think. I'm, I can think of a few spots that I will definitely get some big pike on this. I don't have muskie close to me, but I, if I was to make the trip for muskie, this would be definitely in my tackle box. This is just, I mean, look at this. What is there to say? It's it's just streamers. It looks like uh, that stuff you put on Christmas, tinsel. Stuff you put on Christmas trees. It's multicolored tinsel. Uh, I've never gotten anything like this. I have no idea how this is going to perform. I have no idea how this is going to look in the water. I imagine it's going to poof out and just be fluffy, but these blades are going to be spinning and giving you action. I I don't know. Mind blown. I've never gotten anything like this in a box. Very, very cool. Uh, I don't I don't know what else to say about that. Lunker Hunt Dragonfly. This is another really cool looking lure. So Lunker Hunt, of course, a very good brand. One quarter ounce. Dragonfly. So it's a plastic and it's dragonfly shaped, but instead of the the wings, you have these streamers out, sort of like you would have on a surface frog for the for the legs. Uh, same idea except for the wings, and it looks really cool. The color on this is fantastic, lots of detail. Lots of detail molded into the plastic. The one downside is it doesn't come with a hook, so you're gonna have to find your own hook and figure out your own way to rig this. But I mean, I would assume you just use a, a wide gap hook, rig it up the same as you would any normal uh, stick bait sort of plastic or any, any long grub, uh, similar to that. Very cool plastic though. I like, I like the idea that it's this dragonfly and you got the eyes, you got the, you know, the face, everything is really molded into the plastic, very detailed. Uh, good color on it. Like I said, I'm a fan. I could think of a few places I would use this. Probably I'm going to catch smallmouth bass and pike with this. Probably not in the fall, but going into the spring, I think this is something I'll make use of. Crypto. Crypto. Cryptic finesse. Green pumpkin seed. 12 count. Uh, so this is... Just sort of a power worm style plastic. Natural olive green color with some black flecks in it. Bit of a scent on there and you can feel it. it's a little bit oily. Pretty basic, uh, nothing that stands out too much to me. It looks like a good solid basic power worm in natural green color. It's a good size pack. Good amount of scent on there, uh, good feel to it. Um, yeah, nothing much else to say about that. Power worms work really good for walleye, bass. Pike will go after them occasionally, but usually you're targeting bass for these and then walleye will also bite on them. So nothing wrong with that. Um, there's a lot of stuff in this box. I still have a lot to go. Uh, ripped, lipped, ripped lip plastics. Four and three quarter inch finesse worms in pumpkin seed slash bubble gum color. This is really cool. I love the contrast between the pumpkin color uh, on the top and the bubblegum color on the bottom. That contrast, and it's a hard line down the middle. I love it. It lets you work a bait like this in just such a bigger variety of, of waters and different situations where, this, I, I, I don't know how to explain it. There's some spots where I can think of off the top of my head where Traditionally, you would throw a natural color, but sometimes a brighter color or a more fake color would work. And there's places that I can think of that you would traditionally throw the brighter or the more fake colors, but sometimes the natural colors work. This just gives you the best of both worlds. I mean, it just gives you so many options where you can tell right away, once you throw this and you know if you're getting bites or not, you know right away those multiple colors are not going to work or they are going to work, um, as the case may be. So I love having this like contrasting color, it's great. Pink absolutely kills for walleye around here. So this will be a great walleye lure. They don't typically go after the natural colors, but they love the pink and they love night crawlers. So anything that mimics a night crawler, uh, which is where you get this top pumpkin seed color, um, typically works well. And then having that pink on there, it'll draw them in and then that that nightcrawler action of the plastic itself, of being this long worm, will draw them in. And then that pink usually will get them to bite. For some reason, while around here, just love that pink color. 
whether it's a jig head or whether it's a crankbait or a plastic, I don't know. They do have a really nice scent to them too. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's sort of a chemical plastic sort of scent, but it's very strong and there's a lot of it on there. And I think that'll work really well. Uh, I, I've never heard of this company, Ripped Lip Plastics, but I love these. I love that pink and brown contrast. I'm gonna make use of that. I'm actually going to the cabin tomorrow, um, about 12 hours from the time of recording this. And this is gonna be one of the first plastics that I throw out. Next up, we have X-Zone Pro Series, the four inch Swammer. Four inch Swammer, it's a six pack. So X-Zone is a common, common plastic that I get, but I don't normally get uh, packages like this. Normally I get the regular packages and it's usually the uh, grub uh, leech sort of shaped one. This is a little bit different. It's still sort of this flat bottomed leech sort of shape, but this one has a paddle tail, which is interesting. I was just complaining on my Mystery Tackle Box video that I wished I would get more variety of X-Zone plastics. And here we are. I have an X-Zone plastic that I have never gotten before. I've never gotten an X-Zone plastic with paddle tail before. This looks great. The color on this is great. It's a nice clear plastic with a little bit of a smoky gray color. Lots of silver, lots of blue sparkle in there. Um, just gives it that bit of flash. This will work in a variety of different water conditions. And then the paddle tail is going to give you lots of turbulence in the water. It's a nice long skinny tail towards the end. It's a nice long taper and then this big paddle tail, and it's sort of reversed. So if you think of the uh, bottom of the lure being the flat flat bottom, the paddle tail is actually pointed up. Most times it's on a downward um, downward slope, as it were. Uh, and this one is just that little bit of difference might make it more attractive to fish. I don't know. I don't know if that'll make a difference or not, but it's something that I notice right away, that it's not quite, the, it sets itself apart from the pack. So I'm excited to try that. I think I will definitely give that a try this weekend. Of course, the X-Zone scent. The X-Zone has a very distinct scent and you can always sort of tell it's them. Nothing wrong with that. I'm very happy to, with that. And I'm looking forward to trying that. We still have a couple things to go here. So Strike Pro, uh, tournament grade, Supersonic Joint 70. So it's a three inch, um, sorry, two and three quarter inch, dives down to three feet and it's floating. That's an interesting combination. So I've had mixed experience with Strike Pro. Some of the stuff has been good. Some of it's been not so good. Uh, this looks interesting. They got this interesting swivel on the head. So it's not quite a jointed swim bait but it's not quite a solid crankbait either it's just the one little swivel on the head side here right where the dive bill is nice color bright yellow bright green for the head nice bright eyes uh and diving down to three feet for the fall everything is coming up shallow i think that'll be actually useful this will be good for pike smallmouth bass maybe some walleye depending where i'm fishing the bright color will be great for some of the darker stained water that i have around here uh all in all it has potential. I'm a little bit leery of Strike Pro just because I've been burnt in the past, but I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, they make stuff that seems like it should be really good, and I have a number of their items that I, uh, I'm i looking forward to trying that look good. So we'll see. This is one of those things that looks good um, on first glance, and it's a in really interesting swivel head. Uh, I don't have anything quite like that. It's, it's quite unique as far as tackle that I've received, so... Uh, nothing wrong with that. I'm again. I'm looking forward to trying this out and multi-species, smallmouth bass go after that. Maybe walleye if they're shallow enough. Pike for sure. T drop hooks. Uh, interesting. So this is just another filler item, but this is something that I don't see often, and I haven't gotten in any of my boxes thus far. So it's almost like a three-way swivel except instead of your third swivel head, it just puts you right on a hook. So normally you'd have your main line and then your weight on the bottom with a leader of whatever length, and then another leader off the side with a hook on the end. This one skips that third swivel 
off to the side and it just puts a hook right onto your onto the uh, rig so it's essentially making your hook part of your main line going up and down so you'd have your main line going up to your rod and then a weight of some sort down below is how I imagine this would be rigged up um, that gives you increased sensitivity because anything that touches the hook is also touching essentially your main line so uh, interesting Everybody who follows my Instagram probably knows that I hate pickerel rigs. This is a fabulous alternative to a pickerel rig. Same idea, you still have a free swinging, floating bait off to the side of your main line and you can put, this is a package of two, so you could actually put another one off to the other side. You could still have your two hooks, but they're both attached to your main line. Way more sensitive. The hooks, um, you don't have the wire and all the extra crap that's on a pickerel rig, so you don't have as much chance of losing it. Because it's right on your main line, you can feel what's going on. You don't have to worry about snags as much because you can feel it. Everything's on the main line. Again, more sensitivity that way. Great idea. I love it. I've never gotten any of these. I've never used one of these, but this is a fantastic idea. I am definitely going to try one of these as an alternative to a pickerel rig. I will basically make a double drop shot style rig out of these and just have both of these on my main line, wait on the bottom, and then bait on both of them. I'm gonna put it in the Red River and see what I get for greenbacks. I think this will work fantastic. Last up, we have Big Chief Jerky. So one of the things that I was very impressed about when he sent me the first box to, for feedback was that he included jerky. I love the idea of a fishing box including boat snacks. Fishing isn't just about the lures and catching the fish. It's about being out on the water, out on the boat, with people, with friends, um, and snacks. I mean, it's no surprise. Snacks are a big part of that. So the fact that there's snacks included in the box, I love that in the first box. I'm glad that that's still going on for this second box. I hope it continues for future boxes. Uh, I've never had this particular jerky, but... I imagine it's perfectly good. Uh, you know, not gonna be as good as my homemade deer jerky, naturally. But teriyaki flavored, Big Chief. Wow, is it ever packaged well? You know, it only takes me three cuts with a knife to get into it. Yeah, that's a nice teriyaki flavor. That's a nice a smoke flavor, actually. You don't usually get that much smoke with a teriyaki flavored jerky. That's really tasty. I'm a fan. Like I said, I'm a fan of including boat snacks in a box. I think that's fantastic. And then at the very bottom is the what's in the box card. So I'm not going to go over all these. I'm going to include a picture up here somewhere as I'm uh, editing this video. But it shows all the logos, all the values of all of these lures. Uh, and then you can add up your total... Uh, oh, it shows the total value on here as well. So total value for this box is listed at 69.31. That's pretty good. Uh, I'll put this up and you guys can judge for yourself, but overall, great box. There was so much stuff in this box. I'm very impressed for a local guy from what is almost my hometown, my home area from Winnipeg. Fishalure, fishalure.com if you want to check them out. Um, for just starting off, for being a sort of prototype beta test of a box run, I mean, he's got a lot of really good companies lined up here. He's got a really impressive variety of lures in this box for a multi-species box. To go from, I mean, just anything that includes, any box that includes something like this, like, what even is this? I've, uh, that's amazing. It, it's just so cool. And then, you know, your, some of your staples, like a buck, bucktail jig, a crankbait, but it's got that little bit of a twist to it. So, you know, it's just slightly different. Plastics like these pink and brown ones that are just standard plastic um, profile, but just that twist for the color. Everything about this box, I really love. Everything is very, it feels unique. It feels like I'm getting new stuff. I don't feel like anything here was a repeat of other boxes that I've gotten that I've seen a million times. Um, so yeah, I hope he keeps it up. I hope that, uh, you know, 
the variety and the pizzazz of this box shines through for future ones. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Uh, what you think, especially, I'm curious, if, what everybody thinks of this pom-pom, fluffy, whatever streamer thing. I just, that's still, makes, it's just gonna make me smile. Every time I look at that, it's gonna make me smile. Uh, but let me know what you think down there. While you're down there, don't forget, you can like and subscribe. Click those buttons, it's really easy and it helps me out a lot for the channel. Don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash True North Wilds, on Instagram at True North Wilds. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you outside.